welcome to Thundersport GB. It's round three of the championship and the Golden Era Superbikes a new class for 2012. Lee Reevely, 77 on the Aprilia Melee we saw lining up on pole position on the right. That bright orangey red machine, number 57, the Kawasaki 750ZXR is, well, he's got off to a great start, number 57, it's Rob Wilson. Into turn one they go, just behind him, number 13 on the SRAD Suzuki, Richard Blunt. Lee Reevely not getting off to a great start, dropping all the way back down to sixth place with, uh, well, there's been a high rate of attrition this weekend so far in the RST clothing Golden Ears Superbikes because we've lost a couple of riders already, but as we head down into Edwina's for the first time, oh, Rob Wilson is going to have to run straight onto the grass, and that means that the new race leader is number 13, Richard Blunt. Martin Tranter on the Yamaha YZF 750 has got off to a good start, and number 57, Rob Wilson, has rejoined the circuit back in front. Uh, he hasn't made an enormous, uh, taken an enormous advantage, so I doubt that he'll get penalised for that. So it is at the moment 57 Wilson from Blunt, number 13. Then number five and 62 is Martin Tranter and Jason Dixon. Look out for 77 Lee Reevely in fifth place. Once he gets warmed up, he is fast, and he leads this championship coming into Mallory Park by 60 points. There, going into. First turn here, Gerrards is number 62, Jason Dixon on the Suzuki 750, and Lee Reevely lining him up on the Aprilia. There's the race leader, number 57. Uh, that's Rob Wilson on the ZX7R. Not in traditional Kawasaki colours, of course. Normally bright green, but not on Rob's bike. And in second place on the Suzuki is still Blunt. There is the Aprilia melee of number 77, Lee Reevely. And he is the championship leader. There is no Keith Smith, remember, here. Unfortunately, a little accident occurring in Mexico a couple of weeks ago after a couple of drinks. No surprise there. Keith Smith uh, fell from the second floor, landed on his spud head, and uh, it's still uh, in I believe. So we send our best wishes to Smithy. There is the race leader, 57, Rob Wilson from Rich Blunt, number 13, and Lee Reevely now trying to close in on Richard Blunt in second place. I'm gonna bring in uh, a man that knows all about this class, and of course it's new for 2012. Uh, part director, Thundersport Sid, Hissing Sid, many a name. Uh, Richard Day, uh, good to have you with us. As Lee Reevely moves up into second place ahead of uh, Richard Blunt. This championship Sid, uh, 750cc foursome the bikes from the 80s and 90s. in their garages and we're trying to encourage them to come out and race again. Great things, yes, uh, very much so. I mean, we think that uh, there's many of these bikes that are now on the wrong worth much and uh, so whilst they sit in the garage and that, that there's no point in, uh, in selling them because there's, there's no money to be had uh, and they're just wasting away and uh, we brought this class in and it's uh, awakened the uh, uh, many a rider of the geriatric department, uh, which uh, I think they're fondly now calling them gentlemen races. Uh, and we're, it's, we're very pleased to see them out here. Back at the front here, number 57, Rob Wilson is coming under attack from E2E Solutions, sponsored a pretty melee of Lee Reevely, a triple champion for Thundersport GB when he was on the uh, Ducati of Thunder back in 2008, so a good effort here from Lee Reevely, and he's hunting Dan Wilson, who's uh, ooh, ever so wobbly through the hairpin. So you're, you're almost trying to replicate the days of Foggy and Russell, Kaczynski, etc. Then, Sid. And it seems to be working. Um, it's a slow start, obviously, first year, but we have great plans for this class, and it certainly has uh, awakened the imagination of the riders and uh, the public alike. We had uh, a decent number of entries for this round here at Mallory Park in the Golden Era. It's before the start of this weekend, but uh, as I mentioned, high rate of attrition so far of the weekend. These conditions don't help, so it means that we don't have as many runners as usual out on circuit. It's only going to be a matter of time here before Lee Reevely pounces on number 57, Rob Wilson. 
Uh, Lee Reevely, Sid, a rider that obviously we all know very well in uh, Thundersport GB as we just pan back to Jason Dixon, number 62. Uh, Lee has been able to sit on pretty much any bike and do very well. And he's taking advantage of the fact that Smithy's not here this weekend and, and no Ian Simpson either. Yeah, of course, Smithy. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we know uh, uh, Lee Reevely very well. He's already shown. Um, his prowess, as you've already mentioned, and uh, it, uh, he certainly really wanted this this particular championship. He he, he loves this melee, um, and he loves any condition. He's a really good rider, um, and as you can see, it's uh, raining quite hard here, and he, he's just tagging on to uh, Rob, watching what he's up to and everything else. And looks like. Oh, and yes, he has. He's got up the inside there. A block pass, brilliantly done from number 77. Lee Weebly on the Aprilia. He overtakes the Endotech Racing Kawasaki of Rob Wilson. Let's take another little look at that. Lee Reevely then, here he comes through the bus stop as the race leader, having passed number 57, Rob Wilson of Immingham. Uh, these Kawasaki's, of course, remind me more than anything else. I passed my mind back, Scott Russell, a go of course on the Kawasaki, some great, great riders. We just saw there, number five, Martin Tranter on the Yamaha YZF750. Remember the old Cadbury's boost days with Whittam and uh, Mackenzie, Sid? Absolutely, and uh, indeed, I think Chris Walker had one as well, didn't he? And uh, yeah, they were the great days. And of course, uh, when everybody loved uh, with no gizmos on the bike and uh, no Motec uh, electronics to worry about. Uh, and it's, it's very much an affordable uh, racing uh, series that, we, that we've got here, and we, we, we really believe that it's the future for Thundersport. Well, let's hope so. We just saw a shot there of number 62, Jason Dixon, putting, uh, uh, I think that was a lap on Phil Page on, uh, well, I'm not sure what colour that Kawasaki is, which we've got for lunch. Uh, number 94, Phil Page, a loyal supporter of Thundersport GB, been around for quite some time. The rain's starting to hammer down now here. The chequered flag is waiting then for Lee Reevely. It's been a faultless ride here, hasn't it, Sid? It's fantastic for him. Uh, it's very, very, very good in these conditions. And, uh, and it looks like he's shown more of a clean pair of hands, really. So the message is from Thundersport Sid, if you have one of these bikes, if you've got the 750cc force and the or the 1,000cc twin in that garage. Get, get it out, <laughs> get, get it out, out. <laughs> get your numbers on there, and let's come racing at Thundersport GB. Thanks ever so much for Sid for joining us, of course, uh, co-director of Thundersport GB, alongside Dave Stewart. Out of Shaw's hairpin comes Lee Reevely, and up through the bus stop chicane. How many wins has this man had with Thundersport GB? The E2E -E Solutions are pretty relay, comes across the line, and it's a win. Lee Reevely in the RST motorcycle clothing, golden era super bikes. In the background, it is going to be Rob Wilson on the Kawasaki that takes second. And Richard Blunt on the SRAD Suzuki is going to take third place ahead of Andrew Dumbill. Number 70, another rider out there on an Aprilia 1000 CC. And just behind Andrew Dumbill is Jason Dixon on the SRAD Suzuki and Martin Tranter, the first of the Yamahas, in sixth. On the podium there, Lee Reevely in the centre with Wilson to the left and Blunt on the right. Sport GB, we are at Mallory Park for the third round of the championships and it's time for the RST Motorcycle Clothing Golden Era Superbike 750cc four-cylinder bikes from the 80s and 90s competing against 1000cc twins in the original scintillating superbike format. And Lee Reevely, number 77 on the right of your picture, the red and black bike leader of the championship coming into this event on the Aprilia Melee, has just been overtaken there by 57, Rob Wilson on the fluorescent orange, red, whatever color you want to call it, Kawasaki ZX7R. No Ian Simpson here this weekend. A couple of riders crashed out in qualifying, so we have a little bit of a diminished grid, but hopefully, some decent racing action at the front, nonetheless. Number five there, just going through, possibly not quite, well, I can tell you, number 13 first, Richard Blunt, is on the Suzuki S-Rad that now leads from 57 Rob Wilson. Number five is Martin Tranter, the rider out on, or the only rider out on the Yamaha YZF750. 
50, number 70, Andrew Dumbbell on an Aprilia Melee, a bike that is very popular. And before we get really close and up into action of this race, we should just send our very best regards to a competitor that isn't here this weekend. Keith Smith, Mr. Potato Head, unfortunately Keith was out working in Mexico, fell off a couple of flights uh, on a balcony somewhere, landed on his head, been in hospital since in Me Mexico, and won't be racing for a while. So uh, we send you our best regards, Keith. Hopefully you get better soon. Luckily, that potato head of yours has uh, prevented any serious damage. Into the first corner we go, and Lee Reevely there, number 77, just getting warmed up into things on the Aprilia Melee. Lee, a triple champion in the Super Twins class. Look at the rain coming down there, that shot, just giving you a real insight as to how wet and slippery it is around here at Mallory Park, as Lee Reevely thought about going up into second place, but settles for third. It's Blunt that leads from number 57, Rob Wilson, Lee Reevely in third. That was number 58, Brian Spreadborough, another rider on the We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five Aprilia Melees out on circuit up against some of the classic 750s. We've got uh, Graham Guff out there, the number 131 on a Ducati 916. Beautiful machines they are. And uh, you can't miss number 94, Phil Page, on the Kawasaki 750 either. Look out for number 94. It's painted in almost a blancmange pink. As they tip into turn one, that is still blunt from... Rob Wilson on the Kawasaki and Lee Reevely in third on the Aprilia. So we have Suzuki from Kawasaki from Aprilia, but the Aprilia of Lee Reevely, the championship leader coming into Mallory Park, has made a move. He's side by side with Wilson. And as he comes into Ed Wieners, is he going to try and get himself up into first as well? No. Oh, what a move there from Wilson around the outside. A classic move from Wilson on the Kawasaki. He moves back up into second place and pushes Lee Reevely, the championship leader, down to third. Meanwhile, in the background there, number five, Martin Tranter on the Yamaha, has made it four manufacturers in the top four and fancies a look at the top three as Lee Reevely trying to find any which way he can pass. Wilson just keeps on getting the door closed. Meanwhile, Blunt on the Suzuki S-Rad still leads this one as they exit Devil's Elbow and make their way around onto the start finish straight from Wilson. Lee Reevely in third. And in fourth there, number five, Martin Tranter. Into the long right-hander, Gerard's corner. That just seems like it goes on forever and ever. One of the most famous corners in Britain before making their way onto the Steppy straight. And all of a sudden, it's three abreast as Blunt comes under attack from Wilson on the Yamaha. And Lee Reevely also going through. So Blunt goes from first to third. Lee Reevely has to pick the bike up after a little wobble. But a great riding here from Rob Wilson, number 57 from Immingham, riding for Team Endotech on the Kawasaki 750. In third there, that is uh, Richard Blunt, who's just lost down a couple of places. And Lee Reevely around the outside into Shaw's hairpin, which will give him the inside line into the bus stop. There was almost a collision with uh, Lee's back tyre and the front end of Wilson, but luckily both riders make it safely through, and Lee Reevely is uh, being sponsored by E2E Solutions for quite some years now. The rider from Coventry on the Aprilia Melee leads ahead of Rob Wilson, and looks as though, uh, well, on that lap, he was a second quicker than anyone else, so Maybe Lee was just getting a little bit held up and fancies his chances of pulling away in this one. Don't forget, if you want to see the other races of Thundersport GB, all of these classes getting two races here, then just go on to www.thundersportgb.com and click on the iPlayer icon. As you see there, number five, Martin Tranter now going past Richard Blunt. So Blunt on the Suzuki led this one in the early stages. But now the rest of the bikes have just got themselves uh, dialed in. Blunt has just been demoted to fourth momentarily. Um, there's quite a gap then back to the likes of Brian Spreadbread, Jason Dixon and Andrew Dumbbell. Reevely it is that leads this one then, the championship leader. Came into this event uh, 60 points ahead of Nick Williamson, Ian Simpson, who aren't out on this circuit here today. reevely has got, uh, well, he certainly knows this place like the back of his hand, the Coventry rider could almost call this place between this and Donington home circuits for Lee. So Mallory Park for round three. Of course, we went to Donington Park before this. Brands Hatch was the opener. And if you actually want to come to the events and watch this racing, it's the next best thing from British Superbikes. And get yourself to some of the circuits to watch them. Of course, we're 
love to have you here on Motors TV, but next round will be at Alton Park in Cheshire, Saturday the 26th of May as the rain comes down. Sunday 24th of June will be at Snetterton in Norfolk, and then Sunday the 29th of July over to Rockingham. Last lap flag is out now. Lee Reevely it is that leads this one from Ron Wilson. And since he's managed to get out in front, he's just pulled away. And his lap times are 1.2 seconds quicker than Rob Wilson's that last time around. As you see there, number 66, Paul Maxfield on the yellow of Prillia, just ahead of Mark Tranter. In fact, Maxfield's being lapped by Tranter there, number five on the Yamaha TZ, uh, YZF, sorry, at 7.50. Lee Reevely then, a triple champion in the Super Twins, uh, Sound of Thunder it's been called before, looking to win the golden era Superbikes. No Keith Smith to play with, as I mentioned at the top of the show. We send our best regards to him. Further back there, that's number 62 and number 58. 62 is Jason Dixon, 58 Brian Spreadbreath, fighting for fifth and sixth. But out of Devil's Elbow, it's just a cruise to the line for the championship leader, number 77, sponsored by E2E Solutions. Lee Reevely wins the RST Clothing Golden Era Superbikes in fine style here. If he's 15 seconds, he's got over second place man Rob Wilson, who's done a fine job on the Kawasaki ZX7R. Martin Tranter finished third on the Yamaha with Blunt in fourth on the Suzuki. Dixon also on the SRAD finishing fifth with Ryan Spread for sixth. And there is the very happy in centre. Onto the point standings, a massive lead for Lee Reevely ahead of Nick Williamson. Richard Blunt's third ahead of Rob Wilson, Jason Dixon, and Ian Simpson's in sixth. Lee Reevely, winner of the RSC motorcycle clothing Golden Era Superbikes. I mean, that looked to me like a clean pair of heels. Uh, not to begin with, the guys, I know the guys go really well in the wet. Um, Rob, Rob and, um, I'm trying to think of the chap's name, the guy, a guy in the Suzuki anyway, they go really well in the wet, so um, I knew I was going to uh, have a fight. But uh, yeah, once I got clear, I got in a steady pace, it was comfortable. You put in some reasonable lap times there in the wet. Do you find this a good grippy track in the wet? Yeah, I think they resurfaced it, I think, um, the back end of last year. And um, it's definitely a lot grippier uh, than it was. And um, yeah, it was like riding around a dry, to be honest. Well, it looks like you're on track for your third Thundersport GB uh, championship win. Um, long way to go yet, obviously, and a lot of races to do. But who would you like to thank, mate? Um, yeah, I'd like to thank, um, firstly, Griff at Aprilia Performance. He's been helping me with the bike. He's a uh, Aprilia specialist. Um, and my team, mum and dad, uh, Stuart, everybody who helps me out, uh, Tony at Motorcourse. Um, I also want to say get well soon to S Keith Smith. He's uh, had a bit of an incident in Mexico, I think. Uh, and get well soon, mate. Hope we're back on track soon. Yeah, I think the trick with Keith Smith is don't balance on roofs when you've had a drink. But anyway. Yeah, well, I, I don't fully know the circumstances, but get well soon, mate. No, it's, it's nice, and we all wish him very well. Thanks very much, Lee. Cheers.